What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so the clutch is out of the car. Long story short is a bunch of things just went wrong and I just got, I just didn't have time to record and sit there and try to figure out everything that was going on. Cause a bullet strip, this happened, this happened. And it was just kind of like big thing. But quick thing, quick update on the clutch. Just so you guys know what was bad and what wasn't bad. Um, This was, we believe was bad. We think the guy who replaced, the clutch was replaced. The clutch is right here. She doesn't look bad, like she has some good, you know, life in her still, but it looks like someone just improperly changed the clutch because it looks like if you tell on this flywheel, it has all this marking, which I've never changed them before, but it has all this marking. The clutch on its on itself has the marking that this has right here. So most likely what happened is someone changed the clutch, but they never changed this. Or even this guy here, because this guy, he has bad marking on him. He has all these heat marks, and this doesn't look like it had even grabbing points on the clutch. So, it looks like nobody replaced, when they replaced the clutch, they said they wanted to go cheap and just get the clutch and not the pressure plate and that thing, which is what it looks like. Other than that, I have not yet test driven the car yet for a very specific reason. So the reason I haven't driven her yet is because she starts, but she doesn't idle. Not no good, no good. Um, this I'll show you guys a quick demonstration on what she does. So put the clutch in, and we'll just you know go like this. So there's our issue, so we're going to try the hood of the car real quick. I'm going to demonstrate, well, show you guys what I think it is. Real quick, I believe it's, we're going to jump right to it. Uh, I believe it's this thing right here. So, I thought maybe it was maybe the coils, which is still possibly is the coils. It possibly still is, but most likely it's probably this. Because what happens is, I built something with the coils I read, I was reading up is, the first coil turns on, or something like that. And then, when you turn the key back onto the on position, I mean, like, you know, starting and then on position, back to normal, like, where the key's gonna sit when you drive, it turns on the second coil, which then sends a signal to a wire in here, and it, and that wire moves this timer thing that, like, turns and pushes a little wire on, and basically, it keeps the fuel pump running. Now, why I think it, now, why I think it's broken is because when I was putting this thing back in, I was jamming on this thing, like hitting it, pushing it back by forth, and possibly vibration may have possibly knocked it off center or knocked the thing out of place. So I'm gonna take this out. We're gonna take this out. Uh, so we're gonna take this out real quick. We're gonna just check it on real quick. I don't wanna be chasing, you know, a bunch of things, and you know, it could be through the coils, but we're just gonna try this first because it's cheap. We don't have to spend anything. We gotta do is open the seal up and check inside of it found was that the wire here, the connector that's inside the the connector here, the little metal things that the plugs go into, actually was hanging out. So actually, it might just, the wire may just came out of the hole of this thing. So let's just see if she starts up now. Hopefully it's just this. I don't want to take anything apart. And that was it. Ha ha. Oh, thank God. I'm actually really happy. It's just that. All right, I'll take it apart and show you guys real quick now that I know that that's what it is. So guys, see those connectors inside there? This one right here was hanging out. Like it, was, it wasn't it was even there anymore. It was actually pushed all the way back to here. So what I had to do is just go back here. I don't know, I don't wanna pull it out, but all I had to do is just put take the screwdriver here, push it, push it all the way back to the forward so that we have a connector again. So not a big deal. I didn't have to rip the thing apart. Thank God. All right, guys. So then, actually, we could probably get I get this thing all put back together inside. I just gotta do some touch-ups on the exhaust. I, I like just put it all back together real quick. I gotta still do the exhaust here, <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like jigs her. And then I also need to put a starter bolt back in. And what else I gotta do? One other thing. Oh, tighten up the speed sensor. 
All right, guys. So we got the car back together. I did a video on the short throw shifter. Now we're gonna go for a drive in this car. I'm gonna give you guys all the opinion of how I feel this about this car driving now and everything and what needs to be done and not be done. But uh, I gotta see if this thing's gonna start up with a clunky before. All right, the clunky's gone. That's good. guys so like i said that was a quick drive um like i said there's still work to be done need to get the make try to bleed the clutch and hopefully that'll fix the whole issue with the soft clutch like but it is better like it does come up a lot faster now and also um grabs a little sooner but i just need to see if we can get this uh adjusted a little more down to where it feels like a normal clutch and it, this could just be a normal clutch because i'm used to the mustangs and their clutches are really, really stiff, so it could just be that. So, but other than that, guys, listen, guys, enjoy the video. Please like down below, comment down below, also, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.